Hi there YouTube, Vong here today and last time as, as you will know we are we review this at game Sega Genesis classic game console with AD built in games for 40 bucks yeah so we got done with that now let's try to look at its smaller brothers here the Sega the at game Sega Genesis ultimate portable game players so this one is quite different from that one because this time it's not a console it's a handheld so this is the newer uh, the newer versions of the ad games ultimate portable game players fortunately it's not really that ultimate but <laughs> they wanted to call that just to get you all hype up so <laughs> yeah but it does have built-in versions of the Sega Genesis versions of Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, and Mortal Kombat 3. So yeah, you also got a 3 3.2 display there as well. And yeah, they actually advertised the 3 game quite nicely there too. On the back here, you got the same 80 games as you were on that other ones, except that they replaced the three other Genesis game with the three Mortal Kombat games. So yeah, so the games you have here are, well, we all know what all these are. So there's Alex Kidd, Alter Beast, Alien Storms, and Arrow Flash, Bonanza Bros, Chagong, Columns, Columns 3, Comic Zone, Crackdowns, Golden Axe 2, Golden Axe 1, Game Ground, Flakies, Fatal Labyrinth, E-Swats, Echo Juniors, Echo 1, Dr. Robotnik's Bing Bing Machine, Decap Attacks, Golden Axe 3, Jewel Masters, Kick Chameleons, Red Stars, Shadow Dancers, Shinobi 3, Streets of Rage 1, 2, 3, Sun and Knuckles, Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat 2, The First Mortal Kombat, uh, Virtual Fighter 2, Vector Man 2, Vector Man 1, The Ooze, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, and Sonic Spinball and a load of other stuff down here that we all don't care about so yeah we I don't I don't want to talk about the one bottom there but yeah, if you want to talk about them then you can check them out if you want but yeah that's a really nice selection of 40 games now so I don't know which games are the missing one but I do know that they replaced the three Mortal Kombat games with the three other ones so yeah they um, yeah, they sold this for kids, but they actually advertised the more common. So they they actually tried to make this box look a little bit hardcore now. <laughs> yeah, so and right here, yeah, including the package, we have the portable game players, an instruction manual, a USB charging cable, and a rechargeable battery packs. They do, yeah, this thing does come with AV hookup, but some reason they don't want to include it in this box so for that one you have to buy separately age is 15 plus so yeah I'm pretty sure that 15 years old will know what Mortal Kombat is so yeah I basically played Mortal Kombat when I was still a tyke so <laughs> I don't think this portable will do any harm so yeah let's do a little uh, unboxing here and see what is let's see what's inside so Inside the box here, you got. Let's open that. Yeah, inside the box here, you have this nice little smaller cardboard, cardboard inside like the original uh, ad game ones. So here's the manual for the handheld. So as you can see, it has a whole lot of instruction on how you can uh, play any of those games and what those games are about and anything like that. It even talks about uh, instructions on a lot of the features that it has too. So we'll be getting through some of those later on but yeah. So that's the manual here. Other than the manual you got the rechargeable uh, wire here. So this will recharge to help you recharge your uh, lithium ion batteries inside that handheld there. So you plug, you just plug the, 
the mini USB side to the handheld and plus the plug the USB side to any uh, rechargeable uh, battery things that you have. You can even charge it, you can even use the Wii U to charge it or PS4 or PS3 or any CPU, any any PC that um, has a USB, USB uh, support. So yeah, you can pretty much charge it anywhere and a device like that is at so it's, it's really cool but yeah there's no there's no there's nothing else they could easily just put the AV cable here too if they want but they don't so yeah, unfortunately they want your money so they probably take that out on purpose but yeah it don't, doesn't really matter we just want to get through with the handheld so this is the actual handheld that came with it so it has this um, so, this Sonic the Hedgehog 2 um, not that it's too sticky here. It's not good anymore, so we just throw that away. But yeah, here is the handheld. So on the left side here, you got this nice little D-pad. It's actually really, it feels really good too. I mean, these this D-pad right here feels uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't put pressure on your thumb, and it's really really soft. So really rubbery too. So that feels really nice. Uh, yeah, the six uh, button layout here. It's really cool that they decided to put the six button layout instead of making it the three buttons. So, yeah, putting six button in here makes fighting game um, actually worthwhile here. Um, hopefully, the Mortal Kombat game plays really well in this too. Uh, there's the start and pause button up here. Uh, on top of here, you got the LCD lights, the AV out if you want to play on the TV. Uh, USB ports, mini USB port actually for charging the units. Uh, SD card slots. Yeah, this one you, they actually allow you to uh, play ROMs in this thing. So I actually have an SD card with a few ROMs inside. We'll check that out later. That's the cool thing about this handheld here. Instead of an act, instead of using actual cartridge like these, and yeah, you can't put these in there anymore. It's not like the Nomad. I mean, come on, the Nomad here. You put cartridge on the Nomad and it stick like this a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's not like this Nomad. So instead of that, you use an SD card. It makes it feel comfortable. Actually, the Nomad's D-pad is not that bad either. So really cool. So yeah, it doesn't. Instead of being bulky, it's actually much slimmer. Very slim, actually. There's the volume slider. You can slide it to high and low, whatever you want. It's actually on high now. Uh, here's a indicator light for the battery so whenever it's low you can see it flash if it's not flashing now so it's actually uh, the batteries are actually very average now uh, on a mouse switch down here on the side it's nothing uh, this side you have a headphone jack if you want to listen to this in stereo uh, this side is also nothing on the back you got the battery compartment uh, for the lithium item ion battery if you ever want to change that you could and yeah a nice Sega Genesis logo there they actually have a license to uh, use this brand so it's good for ad games for doing that so yeah and on this side you got uh, the menu buttons so you use this to ever return to the menu so yeah, that's basically everything in that is featured in this little handheld here. And also a nice little liquid display here. So let's let's turn the unit on and we'll check out what's in what the game has to offer. So here is at games logos and here's the menu. Looks pretty much the same menu as what you see on the at games Sega Genesis up there. So yeah, this one is pretty much the same thing. Uh, you still have the, you still have a lot of the same games. So Alex Kid, Alien Storms, and all that. And then here you got the second page of all the Genesis games. Another. A third page of the Genesis game and you can see there's the three Mortal Kombat game we'll try them out in a while and here we got the last page for the Genesis games and then over here we got all those other craps that we won't bother with but on the very last page we have an option to use SD cards so as you can tell down here we actually have an SD card in there now 
Um, now, here's one thing about the SD card feature, though. Um, if I take the SD card out. Um, this is uh, my very, very old SD card that I used to... I used to uh, plug into the Wii, so this is a two gig, a two gig SD cards. It's very old and still useful, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much the only SD cards that I still carry. But nowadays, I don't use, I don't really use these low level SD card anymore. Basically, I use these ones, the 32 gig versions. Uh, the high capacity ones so the thing is these high capacity ones will not work with uh, with the ad gain Sega ultimate portable here so I do have the ROMs in here but if I try to plug it in there like if I try to do it right now it's this side I think yeah if I try to do it right now it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything so yeah fail to regain please check whether you have the game code bin file placed in the game folders on the SD card yeah it's not gonna take it it's not gonna it's not gonna it doesn't support your high capacity SD card here so 32 gig any any gig that is higher than two or four maybe two I think will not work so you gotta use the Two gig one, any two two gigs or lower, I think. So if I if I put the two gig one in there, and I press start again, or maybe let's turn it off and turn it back on and try it again. And if we go back to the SD card section and press start, yeah, you, you can actually see that searching for games now, and it actually loads the menu. So yeah, you have to use a. Uh, a low a low memory uh, a low memory SD cards for this one to work any any high capacity ones or higher than two gigs will not work with this even if you do have the ROMs in there I think so yeah that's the SD card features let's take a look at some of the games and then on, 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 the, on the unit here and then we can jump to the ROMs so here it is um, this time let's choose some different games and see how they play uh, let's try Golden Axe and see how that one plays. Maybe it might be good. I mean, the graphic looks great in this. Look, look at that screen. That's a that's a beautifully a beautiful uh, liquid display there. And then, although the music, the audio still sounds terrible, like what, like the Ag Games console. <laughs> so. Yeah, let's put the, put the meters in there and see. Okay, jump it. Yeah, that's good. So, let's play with arcade. So there's three, three characters we can choose. So I'm gonna choose the guy. The music sounds a bit off key, but it does it does sound alright though. It's still uh, passable for for uh, this kind of game. Okay, let's fight ourselves. It's our way to uh, others. Yeah, Golden Max, really fun game. <laughs> yeah, it works really fine. And the, the graphic looks good too. So let's return to the menu and choose another game. So, right here. Yeah, we got Kid Chameleon. Let's try Kid Chameleons. I, I haven't played Kid Chameleon that much, but uh, if it's good, then we can try it. Oh, look at that. That's great. So Blue Lake Woods, number one, level ones. Plays a lot like Mario actually. <laughs> I 
I actually uh, Now He can do He can jump He can stomp All those things uh, Anyways That's a cool game so uh, let's choose like one of the Mortal Kombat games now. Uh, let's go to the very first one and see how that one plays. So this is the very classic Mortal Kombat 1. Oh my god, the music sounds terrible here. <laughs> Look at that. Sounds very distorted. Let's see if the blood color works. There it goes. The blood coat still works. I'm not gonna bother with the Delo coat. Let's start. And I'll choose. Oh, Radiant. Uh, Radiant's good, but Scorpion's also good in this one too. Let's let's, let's choose Radiant. We'll, we'll come to Scorpion later and see how the gameplay plays in this. Yeah, you see the blood flies. That's very fun. Plays a lot better than the Super Nintendo version, like everybody kept saying. And playing this in portable form actually feels really nice too. It's just that the music or the audio. <laughs> there it goes. Wow, that's a nice little copy out there. You don't hear them scream, but I think that's the limitation of the Genesis there. But it's still really good to see a uh, blood and gore splat like that. So, yeah, we're fighting Sub Zero. Yeah. Come on, Sub. Let's fight. Yeah, very classic. Okay, let's finish him and go to the next game. There he goes. Bye bye, Sub Zero. <laughs> fun game, act fun game indeed. So let's go to Mortal Kombat 2 and see how that one plays. Yeah, Mortal Kombat 2 is actually my favorite on every system. So there's there's no version that I know of Mortal Kombat 2 that actually sucks. So any version of Mortal Kombat 2 will do for me. <laughs> the Genesis version is just as good. So in order to use 6 button, we have to go to the option menu here and uh, turn on the extra control. So if they allow you to use activator on the original Genesis game, you have to change that to uh, the 6 buttons. That way you don't have to worry about activators and the 3 buttons anymore. So now you can go to done and we can start the game in 6 button mode. So we can use these, these buttons right there. So, Johnny Cage. So, see how Johnny plays. Oh my god. <laughs> There he goes. Yeah, finally be Baraka. Let's see. There he goes. Come on, Baraka. Come on, Baraka. Fight. Oh my god. Yeah, the control is the control is very smooth, but some some of the directional also has 
kind of a little teeny weeny problems with the jumping there. The only thing is that they have the six bun layout here, but the six buns are very <laughs> are layout very very awkwardly. I should say it's not layout the same way that Nomad was layout. So it's still good. Let's see if it works. There you go. Ah, I mean I can't do three of them. Now that that's still good. So as you can tell, if you can look at the Nomad here, yeah. If you look at how the Nomad's buttons are laid out, uh, the six buttons are actually more in horizontally. Whereas on this one, they're more vertical. And that causes problems sometimes, the way on um, how to play games like these. It's not very uh, comfortable for me to use when they lay out like that. But it's still, it's still okay. All the buttons are, all the buttons work the way they should. So, And we have the blinking light now, so... That means that battery will start to get low. We had to, yeah, we had to, uh, we had to actually look at some of these games real soon too. Let's try more Combat Three, and then uh, we can uh, check out the SD card feature. So here's Mortal Kombat Three. So let's see how that one plays. Maybe it might play as good as the other two too. So, but of all the Mortal Kombat games on the Sega Genesis. Mortal Kombat 2, the first one, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 were among one of the best one. I never really liked this one though, the regular Mortal Kombat 3, simply because it does not have all my favorite characters in there, and it's not really uh, the kind of Mortal Kombat game that I would recommend if anyone wants to like, start on the series. But it does have some really cool characters here, and let's play Cyrax. Cyrax is still my favorite in this game, so... I did not press anything. It, it just it just choose Novus for me for some reason. So let's see. Oh my god, the gameplay here is terrible now. Come on, do the net, do the net. Shit, can't do the net. <laughs> It's almost like this game is playing in fast forward mode or something. Really terrible. Can't do anything with uh... I mean, you can tell I was trying to do Cyrex's moves right there. I did not choose Novus. It chose Novus for me and... <laughs> Sindel is like attacking me non-stop there. There you go. Uppercut works. How come that's... How come that net doesn't work? I choose another character. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's, it's just not fair for Cyrus. So let's try Kano, and let's do his uh, cannonball and see if that one, if that works. Well, the cannonball works. That's good. Cannonball is the only thing that works. <laughs> uh. Oh, I don't get it. How come Cannonball works but any other move does not? I mean, this, I think the problem is the fast forward thing. And this game plays... This game, if, if you play on emulators and you put it on fast forward mode, it plays a lot like this. <laughs> it's really terrible. Wait. I can't play game. I can't play Mortal Kombat 3 like this. So, yeah, that that game is just terrible. I I don't get why they put a very very crappy emulation of the game right there. But yeah, Mortal Kombat 3 is supposed to be smooth and good, and this right here is not smooth and good. So, for some reason, whoever programmed this in here forgot to uh, pr forgot to reset the force fast forward buttons. So the fast forward feature got emulated along with the ROMs for some. For some reason in there so yeah it's not that good so but it's still a it's still a nice addition that they actually put in here so I just wish that they fixed that 
Um, yeah, but there, yeah, there's the Mortal Kombat game. They are actually awesome right there. So let's check out the SD card feature. So this is the SD card. And let's see what games I have here for you. We'll try out some games. As you can see, here's the list of games that you can play. Uh, these are ROMs that I put in here myself, but they are actually ROMs of games that I actually own. So here's, here is um, Aladdin for the yeah, game Sega Genesis there. So let's try Aladdin and see if Aladdin works. There are quite a few ROMs that may not work though. So, but let's see if Aladdin will work. Yeah, there it is. It's really nice. Yeah, let's see how it plays. Yeah, it doesn't sound that bad. Let's see. Yeah. Animation looks good. Graphic looks good too. The source swinging is actually accurate. Wow. Alright, so it actually plays really good now. Uh, let's try another game. Yeah, so this time, let's try. Alicia Dragoon. So, Alicia Dragoon right there. See how that game works. There it goes. But the music, the music is starting to uh, get a little bit off key here. Oh, that's really good. Just that the music doesn't sound quite as good as what the original would. Yeah. So yeah, at least the dragoon works really well. It's just that the music doesn't sound that good. So now let's try those other games. We'll try. We'll try all of them and be finished with this review here so here's Castlevania Bloodlines so Castlevania Bloodline here so let's see how that one works Castlevania Bloodlines have blood and gores <laughs> wow so one player starts John Morris or Eric Licardo. Eric Licardo. See how it plays. Wow, it plays really well. Yeah, he can swing his uh he's, he can swing that weapon the upward, downward, and diagonal too. If only this guy released on Super Nintendo, that'd be great. plays really well Let's see what's next okay so here it is we got earthworm gym 2 so here is earthworm gym 2 and let's see how that plays in here
Ah, oh, it looks a lot longer in this one. <laughs> but that's because this is a really good game, so... And good animations here, too. Okay, let's start the game and see how it plays. Anything but tangerine. <laughs> There you go. It's been a long time since I played this game. Kill that guy. <laughs> Grab one of them pigs and take him to the jaw. Oh my god, I fall into this stupid hole here. I always feel him die. I think this pig isn't so fat. Anyways, that's Earthworm Gym 2. I could have played it a lot better than here, but. Let's see, let's go to the next game, here we have the Lion King, so Lion King right here, let's see if the music st still sounds good like the ad game Genesis there, maybe it, maybe it might still be, let's try it. And there's Sega right there. And there it is. Yeah, the music still, it still sounds good. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, let's press start. And let's play. Yeah. Still sound as good as the console. <laughs> well, it's actually frozen. So that's not good. I don't like games that froze on me. Let's let's try one more time. Maybe that's just a little bit of coincidence right there. Let's let's retry. Maybe the game just maybe that's a bad ROM dump right there. Because I did dump my uh ROM directly from my cartridge, so there's no reason why it'll just freeze like that. <laughs> if it freeze one more time, then this ROM will not does not work that good. So let's, let's try again. Stops. There it goes. Looks better now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not good. <laughs> I don't, I don't get why Lion King has that problem though. It, it never happens on the act game ones. Maybe it's just a ROM. Let's go to the next game now. So next game we have a Revenge of Shinobi. So here's the Re Revenge of Shinobi here. So let's see if that one actually good. Badass info. 
Now this game was not built in though, so you have to uh, use a round to play it. So let's try it and see how it goes. Ah, uh, I always accidentally do stuff like that sometimes. I was, I was not intent to do that. There he goes. Okay, let's go. There he goes. Okay, the one dog. Yeah, it works just fine. So, next game. Let's see if some of these other, uh, yeah, let's see how Rock and I plays. So, there's Rock and I Adventure. So, it's this game. So, let's play it and see how it goes. Rocket Knight Adventure. Everybody's favorite. <laughs> there he goes. Let's hear that epic music. Oh man, but I have to... Yeah, I can have to butcher the music in this game too. That's sad. Ah, uh, that sounds too... Sounds very terrible. That plays really good. <coughs> Look at that. Plays really good. There's no slowdown of any kind in here. And unlike the Lion King, it doesn't freeze or crash or anything. So that's great. Alright, let's see. What, else, what other games do we have in here? And here is Samurai Showdown. One of my favorite. So that's this skin right here it's all red and stuff <laughs> so yeah samurai showdown let's see how that plays it's six buttons so samurai showdown should be perfect for it all right is the music good yeah, it doesn't sound like it's good let's go Let's choose Tom Tom and we're fighting Wan Fu. Yeah, the music sounds very, very low quality here. Oh man, it has that glitchy thing on the top. That's really, that's gonna get on my nerves. Also, the shadow on the floor is flickering, so. It's a bad, it might be a bad emulation dump or something. A bad ROM dump. <laughs> The controls and gameplay still was okay, but these top part and the bottom shadow really bothers me. So. Ah. Is that wrong for yeah. Ah. Ah. It put. I can't stand that top part, so let's go to the next game. <laughs> yeah, the actual Samurai Shodan plays better than this, so that's just a ROM. ROM, ROM usually has problems. I, I think the emulators that the ad game system is using is not up to date, so <laughs> let's, let's go to Street Fighter 2, which is this game. Let's see how it goes, see how it plays. So.
All right. There it goes. Street Fighter 2 Special Champion. Everything is good already, so you can just start. I'll choose Blanca this time. Blanca is my other favorite, so Let's see if his move works. I um, mean, and the music's still terrible. At least the gameplay works okay. Doesn't have all those flickerings and glitching like Samurai Showdown does. So. There he goes. That's good. That's a that's pure Street Fighter 2 gameplay right there. Yeah. Ah, damn champ. There he goes. Finally beat him. So Street Fighter actually works really good. So let's go to the next game on the SD card here. So let's see how this next one goes. All right. So this one we have Ultimate Mortal Kombat Three. So that's this game right here. So yeah, that's the last game we'll try on the SD card. After that, we can check out some other cool feature they have. Or it's not Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, it's Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I must have put the I must have renamed it wrong then. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 is not in there. I actually put this one instead. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 will work. But yeah, Ninja Ninja Turtle is there. I I name it wrong, so I guess I deleted Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 by accident. So here's the Ninja Turtles games with those horrible, horrible audios. Yeah, it plays really good. Okay, so Ninja Turtle Hyper Stone Heist plays really well. No, not no problem on that one. But the other cool stuff you could do with the SD card here, though, is that you could like the Retron Five. You could actually play a, a bunch of hacks in here too, like ha game that has uh, ha like those um fan hacks that you can find online. So, um, you remember uh, Knuckles in Sonnet 1, so we actually have that in here too. This is the one I tested on the Retron 5 last time. So there it is. Sonnet Team presents Knuckles in Sonnet 1. So as you can see, it plays just fine. So like the Retron 5, it actually plays really well. Michael has all his moves from the third game in here too. So. <laughs> I'm sure you could play other hacks in there as well. Another cool hack I find in here is those one where you can play as Sally from that cartoon, Sonic cartoons. They actually made that in here too and I actually, it's actually quite enjoyable. So this is the Sally version of that game. <laughs> You can see Sally running in there. This is Sally and Sonic 2 though. So there it goes. Look at that. Let's see how she plays. I don't think she can roll. She just runs. <laughs> Some Sonic thing. Yeah, and she can't stop on there either. That's really sad. But she can shoot a little teeny weeny gun though. 
the way her gameplay was given like this makes this the hardest uh, version of the game ever because you don't have to roll and you don't have the stomp ability anymore. Just have to use that gun. Yeah, you have to shoot. You have to use the gun to shoot that uh, monitor there instead of stomping. Yeah, that is not that good to play with. But the other cool, the other cool hack is the ability to play as Tail in the first Sonic game. So here is Tail in Sonic One. Sega. So Tails in Sonic One. <laughs> and he also has all his moves too, so that's good. And the spin dash is also in the game. It would be more accurate to the original if he doesn't have a spin dash. But, yeah, you can't do anything like that. to play as tail. Hopefully they have a hopefully they have a version of him Sonic 2 too someday. That'd be great. Yeah so there it is. There's all of the stuff that is uh that is a part of this ad game Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable here. I mean there's a lot of crab games, a lot of Genesis games and if you want more games you have this SD card feature to give you more as well. Just have to make sure that it's 2 gig or lower because it's not gonna support high capacity cards so if you have high capacity, high capacity uh, SD card it's not gonna work. So yeah there is all of the game here so for a nice little comparison let's go to Sonnet 1. Here's that nice little box here. Uh, all the games aside, there is Sonnet 1 right there, if you really like Sonnet 1. Here is Sonnet 1 on the Nomad. So for a nice little comparison, let's turn it on and let's go to this one too. See how they sound? Yeah, this Nomad sounds way better. Let's turn this a little bit lower. So there it is. If we can go right there, you can see the difference. <laughs> so which one would you rather play? The Nomad or the Ad Game System? Seriously, the Nomad screen is not that good. But at least the game runs okay. Anyways, that's the no that's the nomad right there, but that's just a regular nomad. What happens if you try a modified nomad? So Let's plug that in and try try to see if this one will work too. So go back to the menu here and let's try to find Sonic again. So there's Sonnet right there. Let's turn them both on. And there it is. This is the regular Nomad. That's the modified Nomad. So. so there it is. So if you look at them, if you look at them side to side like right here.
Yeah, which would you rather play? <laughs> So both of them are pretty much like high quality screen right there. But this one has better audio and better better graphics. But this one has a much better screen, better bigger screen too actually. But the sound is really terrible here, so So that's the uh That's the Ad Game Sega Genesis here. So if you have uh if you want to have your uh, portable Genesis fix, then I think this Ag Gain Sega Genesis might do you good. I mean, it has, it gives you um, 40 Genesis games to from the beginning here, and it allows you to play 40 other crappy games. You, if you want to enjoy those, and if you don't, you can p upload your own games in here too. So Ag Gain actually allows you to. Uh, do the illegal things in here. So I'm pretty sure it's not illegal considering that they want you to do it anyway. So I guess they legalize it now <laughs> just for you. So yeah, the this portable actually plays really good. I just wish that the control is more in the style of the Nomad. I mean the Nomad style is really great. It's perfect for this kind of game here, but this one is more vertical and the bun the buttons are really good. It's just the layout that's kinda awkward. But yeah, there's no mode button in here either, so <laughs> if you're the kind of people that worries about the mode button, then you, this is not for you. But I'm pretty sure nobody cares about the mode buttons. But yeah, that's really all I had to say about the Ag Game Sega, Sega Genesis here. Uh, if you really, if you have somebody that really wants to get into Sega Genesis and you want them to uh, have some good Genesis game to play on the go, then get them this one. This one, like the at game Sega Genesis console up there yeah I bought this one for $29.99 a $10 lesser than the one up there so it's actually $30 <laughs> didn't buy it at stores this time so bought it kind of at a around uh, eBay someone actually uh, lowered the price to $29.99 with free shipping so actually got it that and I have to say it's a nice little deal there I mean, I finally got a unit for me to play my favorite Genesis games. And plus these two too, like the regular Nomad, the Modified Nomads, this. Even got this one too if you still want to play more Genesis. <laughs> this one actually gives you the same uh, experience but with an awkward, awkward way to insert cartridges. <laughs> So if you still want to play Genesis on another portable that is not Sega, then you can try the Retro Duo Portable. There's nothing wrong with it. You just need to buy the Retro Gen to make it work, though. To make to uh, to be able to play Genesis game, that is. So, but you you also have to get used to a Super Nintendo layout too, because that's the only layout you can ever try here. So yeah, so all I can say is. Ag Games Sega Genesis Ultimate Game Portable Player here. Um, I give it an A, just because it's a good portable. It's very handy. It's, I mean, it's light, slim. You can put it in your pockets. Unlike the bulkiness of the Nomad, it doesn't have very good audio though. And a lot of the ROMs you put on there may glitch sometimes too. Glitch, freeze, and all that stuff. But if if you could dump them really good, maybe they don't have that problem as much. Uh, you could play it on the TV if you have the AV cable. That's a shame because uh, yeah, because uh, they don't include an AV, you can't play it as a console. You also can't use a regular Sega controller to play this. So if you play this, it's basically gonna be single player all the time. You can't play with friends. So this is this is convenience for when you're on the road and you want something to kill time with. So. If that's your if that's your reason for buying this, then I say it's a good deal for you. I mean, find it for twenty or thirty bucks, that's great. Find it for forty bucks, I think that's okay too. But anything higher than forty, and I don't recommend it. Uh, the forty Genesis games are good. The forty crappy games are not good. You can tr it could be fun sometime too if you could get used to them. And but the screen is really nice. The control works very accurately. Uh, sometimes accurately too on some games but 
Yeah, and I have to say, everything works the way they should. There's the battery is uh, durable too. It lasts, according to what I know, it lasts along around the eight and nine hours range. I guess it's not that it's not that short, but it is uh, it is very uh, durable for you to. Uh, it should last you around the whole week, I think, if you constantly charge it be between rests. But yeah. So this is an A handheld here. I mean, it's not A minus. It doesn't have anything hor anything terrible about it. Just the audio alone. If Agin could fix that, then this is a pretty uh, almost perfect handheld here. I mean, you don't have to worry about any cartridge sticking out this time too. Just have to be careful that uh, yeah, when you're playing this that. You don't your SD card doesn't fly out too because sometimes it might do <laughs> but yeah the SD card is not that problematic compared to the audio here the audio is the real problem that you can get if you could get past that then everything else is pretty good you also have to make sure that all your ROMs are really good too you don't want to have a bad dump of a ROM there otherwise uh, you'll be getting a glitchy game like Lion King there or Samurai Showdown so yeah, that's uh, my opinions on this uh, Sega Genesis Ad Game system here. If you want to buy it, you can go to any cheap uh, dollar stores and get it, or you can buy it from eBay. Uh, it's a nice little affordable system. So it has some really good games, good controls, uh, good screens, everything. So if you still want to play your Genesis game on the go and you don't care about the audio that much, then get this one it's actually um, really affordable so this is the box that came with this we can put it back on the box the way we should it's only two things so there it is so you can just fold it like that close it and there it is at game sega genesis great handhelds so I'm Vaughn and I'll see you later. So, yeah, great day.